this part of me, a very small part, that actually feels a little bit sorry for these people who have been waiting for this cataclysmic earthquake to happen today. Now, I know I'm a little bit early, but uh, I have actually been counter-prophesying this earthquake for days anyway, so not that early. But, you know, earthquakes are always timed and dated according to UTC, Universal Time, it used to be known as GMT. And um, if you want a cataclysmic earthquake to happen on the 22nd of March 2012, then you have about three and a half hours left at this stage. So it's not going to happen. But what's really funny is those people who think that these earthquakes, this predicted earthquake that didn't happen, and other earthquakes are part of some kind of pattern. Apparently, there is a 188-day pattern afoot here of earthquakes. Now, that is peculiar, because first of all, some of these people are trying to rope in the recent earthquake in Mexico into this pattern, even though, of course, it was two days early, so it actually fell outside the pattern. But they insist that it is somehow part of this mystical pattern that's so important. But you'd think that if this was a significant pattern, then you would be looking at significant earthquakes. Now, don't get me wrong, a magnitude 7.4 is not a small earthquake by any stretch of the imagination. But if we look at the significant earthquakes that have already taken place this year. We've already had a 7.1 in Vanuatu in, on the 2nd of February, and we've had a 7.2 of the west coast of northern Sumatra in on the 10th of January. So why are those earthquakes not important? And if this earthquake taking place today it didn't take place today, did it? It took place two days early. If this earthquake that took place in Mexico is somehow supposed to be um, significant, then I guess this must be the largest earthquake of this year, right? So it'll be interesting to see now whether there will be any more earthquakes. There will definitely be more earthquakes of magnitude 7, it would be a very unusual year if there weren't, because you can on average expect about 15 earthquakes of magnitude 7 in a year, and we've only had three so far. So the chances are that we'll come across a bigger earthquake this year, before the year is out, and before the 21st of December 2012. Would that be hilarious now? It wouldn't conform to any patterns. Now what are we going to do? The other thing, of course, is that if this is supposed to be part of a pattern, then we have to look at 180 day, 8 days earlier than today. And then the last significant earthquake in this pattern would have been on the 16th of September 2011, right? Well, let's have a look. What happened on the 16th of September 2011? Ooh, there was an earthquake. Magnitude 6.7. That's not a small earthquake. Near the east coast of Honshu in Japan. Blimey, is there something to this? Well, you see, there's a bit of a little problem with that. We're talking about a magnitude 6.x earthquake, between 6 and 7. And there are about 130 of those in a year. So... Let's see what happened near that date, will we? And then, yeah, then you get into a bit of trouble, don't you? You see, two days later, outside this precious pattern, there was a 6.9 earthquake in on the Indian-Nepal border region on September the 18th. And the day before this significant date of the 16th of September, there was a magnitude 7.3 in the Fuji region in Japan. Nor is this a cluster either. Don't get me wrong, don't start getting excited here. 
because we had a magnitude 7.0 in Vanuatu on September the 3rd. We had a magnitude 7.0 in Vanuatu on August the 20th. We had a magnitude 7.2 in Alaska. We had a 7.6 in the Kermadec region. In July, we had a 7.1 in Japan in April. We had a 7.1 in Japan in April. We had a 7.9 in Honshu. And of course, the famous 9.0 in Japan, which supposedly was predicted by Nainania. Hilarious. Yes, the thing is that earthquakes of magnitude 6 or higher between six and seven are just too common to be seriously considered as part of a pattern. So in actual fact, anybody who claims that there was anything significant about a 6.7 magnitude earthquake on the 16th of September is quite frankly as thick as two short bricks stuck together. But listen, let's just look at the month around it, right? We have a, on the 23rd of August, 5.8, 24th of August, 6.8, 30th of August, 6.8, the September the 2nd, 6.8, September the 2nd, 6.7, September the 3rd, 7.0, September the 5th, 6.6, September the 9th, 6.4, September the 15th, 6, 7.3. And now 6.7 on September the 16th is supposed to be significant and part of a pattern. And then we have this 6.9 on September the 18th, 5.8 on September the 19th, 6.1 on September, October the 8th, 7th, 5.3 on October the 13th, 6.5 on October the 14th, 7.4 on October the 21st, and 7.1 on October the 23rd. Pattern? What pattern? 